we're here tonight outside Sydney World on Parnell Street and we're waiting for the man of the moment, Mr. Colin Firth, to arrive for the premiere of his film, Genoa. <laughs> Talking to JDF TV on Entertainment TV. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you, Colin. First off, I just want to ask you could you just tell people who are unfortunate um, that they weren't able to come tonight to see the film? Could you just give a brief overlay of the, of the film, Geneva? Um, it's, it's about a family who've lost their mother. Um, I'm the father of two daughters, and there's a, a, a horrible accident very early on in the film. I'm only spoiling the first few seconds by telling you this. The accident is the fault of the 10-year-old. because She played a silly game with her mother in the car crash, and so she's carrying this terrible secret. And the father, um, in order to try to get a change of scene and, 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 and heal everybody, takes them to this town in Italy. And it's about life six months later uh, in the absence of the mother. And um, there's a kind of ghost theme, for, to put it very, very crudely, but the the ten-year-old child sees her mother a lot. The mother comes, she thinks to forgive her, and there's this increasing sense of menace that, that the child shouldn't be seeing this image of her mother, and, and there's a, a sense of danger building through the film. It's a very, very touching film. And how was it working with Michael Winterbottom? Well, I loved it. I mean, it's a, it was a, a completely different way of working for me. Um, I'd done something... It wasn't similar, but it was equally unconventional with, a, with Dominic Savage about a year or two before. Where it was entirely improvised. But with Michael, in some ways it was a step further because he used a camera that looked like this one. You know, it wasn't a film camera. It was a, a DV, a digital camera. No lights, no security, no closing down of sets, no extras. Just four walls and a minimum of people. And you weren't, doing any, you weren't waiting for technicians to do anything. No one was building cranes or tracks. It was just us in a room interacting with each other, you know, solidly. And um, I came away thinking there's no other way to work. Bizarrely, I was doing Mamma Mia at the same time, so I'd leave this intimate little set and go off to this enormous, monolithic film set uh, where hours would be spent just to for light someone walking down a corridor. And just touching on Mamma Mia, it was one of the biggest successes of last year. Did you enjoy filming in Greece and belting out some wonderful tunes of ABBA? Yeah, well, I, enjoy, I enjoyed belting them out, um, you know, and uh, it wasn't all Greece, I have to say. I, I, about 80% of it was Pinewood Studios. Um, but I, yeah, had the time of my life. I mean, it was a walk in the park for me, really. And finally, being heralded as a sex symbol, how does it feel? I think you're a bit out of date on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emil, Colin.